In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Ba2+. This is the barium ion. Before we do that, though, let's just do the electron configuration for neutral barium. And we know it's neutral. There's no negative or positive sign after. So it's neutral, just like it's found on the periodic table. If we look at the periodic table, barium has atomic number 56. That means it has 56 protons. Since it's neutral, it also has 56 electrons. So when we write the electron configuration for barium, we'll have 56 electrons. That'll end up looking like this. So to figure this out, you could use a chart like this here. There's a link in the description how to use something like this. Or you can just look at the periodic table, which I think is probably better because you can see the patterns. So let's look at the periodic table here. And right here is barium. You can see we have 6s1 and 6s2. So barium, its configuration, it ends in 6s2. So we already know that. To fill in all this, we just follow the periodic table. We have 1s1, 1s2. S is full with two electrons. So we have our 1s2, 2s2, 2p. P holds up to 6, 2p6, and so on, till we get all the way down to 6s2. And note, too, that the 4s comes before the 3d, just the way the pattern flows on the periodic table. But we wanted to find the electron configuration for the barium ion, Ba2+. So this is neutral barium. So for Ba2+, we've lost two electrons. We've lost two valence electrons. Since electrons are negative, we have this positive charge. So really, we just need to get rid of these valence electrons here. And this is the electron configuration for Ba2+, the barium ion. We just have two less valence electrons. We still have 56 protons, just like neutral barium. It's the number of electrons that are different for ions. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for Ba2+, the barium ion. Thanks for watching.